So definitely a part of being a tactical dude, um, in my opinion, involves EDC or everyday carry. And it's definitely a topic that I haven't really considered too much uh, up until recently, um, but definitely um, just having stuff on you that you can kind of be prepared for any situation is uh, super useful. And uh, I'm starting to see the benefit in it more and more. Um, and it's just something that I think is fun, something cool, us guys with like gadgets and cool things like that. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd talk a little bit about um, kind of my EDC, what I kind of run. Now, big disclaimer right off the top, um, I am in Canada. So unfortunately, there will be no uh, firearms mentioned in this video. However, some of the things that I particularly run, um, especially this right here, could be useful if you are in a place that is free and you can actually use guns. Just wanted to mention that right off the start, just so that you know, you're not going into this video and sitting down for 10 minutes and wasting your time. Um, a big reason of kind of why I've started to consider these things more and more is because I want to be armed in some sort of way um, as much as I can be here in Canada. Um, so I like to carry a pocket knife and not as a weapon, but as a tool. Uh, they are very useful um, a lot of times, uh, more often than you would think. Um, a knife has come in handy more than once for me. Um, however, I find just with my pants, um, I'm a videographer, uh, I'm moving a lot, um, I've got lots of gear on me, that sort of thing. Um, just having a big bulky knife in my pocket or a big bulky wallet or my phone even, some things can kind of drive me crazy and just make myself uncomfortable. And I think that's where uh, this guy comes in here. So uh, real quick disclaimer, this was provided to me by NF Strike. You guys have heard me mention them before on the channel and uh, they've been a great support of the channel. Like, they got tons of cool tactical gear that you can check out. Um, but this is my most recent pickup from them. Um, this is the Lee Gear EDC bag. It's kind of like a shoulder sling satchel, like a fanny pack almost. And I feel like this is a great solution um, to a lot of the problems that I have. Often I find myself erring on the side of not bringing things because it's gonna bulk out my pockets. But with this, it's not even an issue. And the thing I like about this too, is you don't even have to have it on you all the time. Uh, you can just throw it in your car. I've got my wallet, my keys, all that sort of stuff in there. And then when I go out to do a shoot or whatever, or see some friends or whatever, then I'll just maybe pull out what I need, stuck it in my pockets, good to go. Or a lot of times I just run the bag because I think it looks cool and uh, it's just so useful. Um, I've, I'm discovering there's a big reason why women use purses. So yes, this is kind of my man purse, um, but I'm okay with that. Um, so this bag's super cool. So it's got a ton of room in the top zipper here. Just open that up. The zippers are like super high quality. They're not busting anytime soon, which is awesome. But yeah, in here, I'll show some close-ups of it afterwards, but I've got all sorts of stuff that again, I just wouldn't be able to carry in my pockets. Some of you may be absolutely nuts and you carry everything in your pockets and good on you, but I just, I can't do that. So uh, a big thing that I've been doing lately is slimming down my wallet. So this is actually a 3D printed wallet. Um, I just kind of, hinges out to the side like this and all your cards pop out. It's a little janky, but I'm actually like really, really liking it. So this just holds uh, five cards, um, holds really everything that I need. I really don't carry cash around too much anymore. Um, so that's something that's kind of also inspired the whole EDC thing um, was slimming down my wallet uh, was, was a big one and uh, it's been very, very useful. So I've uh, got my slim little wallet in here. It's got these like bungee pouches on uh, the front side of the pockets here. And then it's got like a big reservoir in here where you can throw the rest of your stuff. Uh, another thing we've got in here is a pen. Pens are super useful, obviously, for, for good reasons. This is the Olight um, O-Pen Pro. Um, so it's got a flashlight and a laser built in. I think it's probably dead right now. I need to go charge it. Um, yes, it is. Oh, no, it's got the laser. So, um, and the flashlight there. It does actually get quite bright. So uh, that's pretty useful. Um, definitely a really solid pen. Writes nice. I like it. Um, got a lot of weight to it. Good in a pinch. Um, another thing we got here is my EDC uh, flashlight. Having a flashlight on you is so, so important, I think. Um, they come in handy so much. And your phone flashlight just does not cut it. Phone flashlights are absolute trash. So this is the, let me just think here. I got this a while ago. This is the Olight. I, Olight used to kind of sponsor the channel and provide some things. 
so that's why I've got so many O lights. I know a lot of people like to hate on O lights, but uh, I actually really like them. I think they're great for the price. Um, but I forget what one this is. I'll I'll post a whatever little annotation um, link to this one. But I actually went and it was like a crazy like blue splatter paint job, and I went and uh, polished it and all that stuff. So I made it like this like. Uh, just like silver kind of look. I think it looks really cool. It's almost like a lightsaber. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Um, and then it's got all the blue furniture still on it. Um, but yeah, this is a great light. It's got like a 1200 lumen output. Um, it is stupid bright. So someone tries anything, boom. That's about the extent of self-defense that I can do in Canada. Um, but uh, I'm hoping that, you know, will be somewhat useful at some point maybe. Um, but it goes down to even uh, 0.5 of a lumen which is extremely useful. Uh, once you get into flashlights, you realize it's not really about how bright they can get, but it's about how dim they can get. And having a really dim flashlight too is also extremely useful in a pinch um, to not give away you know, any signature or anything like that. Um, or just to blind yourself in the middle of the night. Another thing I've gotten here is obviously my knife. This is a nice folder that my brother got me for um, his wedding actually. Um, I was his best man in his wedding, and uh, he got this one for me. I love it. It feels amazing. This is a contender knife. Um, I don't have any like crazy cool knives or anything, but this is definitely by far the nicest knife I have. Another thing I like to carry is my um, Leatherman. Uh, this is just a really old Leatherman of my dad's. He gave it to me uh, when I started doing video. Uh, it's really nice for just like doing up like tripod base plates and changing batteries and certain things and stuff. Um, but yeah, lots of utility, even though just the pliers come in handy more than you think they would. Um, so uh, it's definitely not the nicest tool by any means. I know there's a lot of really nice new ones, but uh, it does the job and it saved me more than once. Uh, another thing I carry often and pretty well all the time is electrical tape. Another thing that like sounds really silly, but comes in handy so, so much. Um, yeah, so that's another thing that I carry in here. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Sometimes I'll throw like my sunglasses case, like things like that. Like I hate being somewhere and like wanting to put like put on your sunglasses. I take them on and off a lot and they're like nice sunglasses. So I don't just want to throw them in a bag or something. Um, so having a big space where I can throw them in is super useful and handy. Also just like out doing errands and stuff. Like you just always need places to put things. So I find this to be extremely useful and uh, handy. Um, oh, one th quick thing to mention, this does come in other colors as well. I think there's four different colors. You can get like a multi-cam, multi-cam black, um, woodland, obviously. This is what I got mine in because I'm a fanboy of M81. Um, and then I think just like black maybe, and I don't know, there's a few other colors too. Um, but yeah, really, really cool. So you can get one that suits your needs. Um, also, you've got some molly on the front here. Don't really know what you would attach there, but you could um, attach something, an extra pouch or something if you really wanted to. Um, it's got some pasture list dates. We threw the Canada flag on there, of course. And it's got like also some other little pockets up front here. Um, I've seen like in photos and stuff, people put like, like uh, shears um, for like medical in these and stuff, uh, which I think is really cool. Medical is also something that I'm wanting to get into. I want to build like a nice IFAC um, and uh, just have that in my car at all times. Um, but uh, this could be a good option for that as well. Like uh, you could have some turning kits in here. Um, yeah, whatever you need, uh, it's super useful. It's also got a little pouch on the back here. Actually, when I was traveling recently, I threw our passports in there, which was super nice because it was just like super quick access when you're going through security and all that stuff. Um, but they were hidden. No one's gonna be able to get in there because it's like right in between your body and the bag. Um, no one's getting in there. Um, yeah, another thing that's cool is it's got like the tubes on here that you would find on like any other plate carrier. Um, so it's just got like the quick release. It's easier to do when it's on you but uh, you can see there and you can switch the sides around, run it over here. There's also another like harness that you can get for it um, that makes it more of like a chest rig almost. And you could like legit run this as a chest rig. I don't know why you couldn't. Um, so that is an option as well. Uh, if you want to airsoft, <laughs> you totally could. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this bag. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really enjoying it. They did also send over this little bag as well. And this is similar to something like the, like the Magpul DACA, um, I believe is how you say it. Um, but it's just like kind of a flimsy loose bag. You can throw something in the one half and fold it up and then throw it in something else. I usually have it in here um, just for 
another emergency storage. You could use this as a wallet, whatever you need. Um, but it's got some nice uh, mesh pockets in here. And it's just like a really solid, um, sturdy little bag that's not gonna rip or tear or anything. And uh, matches, of course, so you can throw it in there. And uh, you've got a whole nother utility pouch you can just pull out and do something else with. Um, passports, whatever you need. So that's an option too. I don't use this one as much, but uh, this one I'm using pretty well every day. Uh, I'm taking this with me. So yeah, just a, a cool little thing that I thought I'd come on here and mention. Again, I'm starting to get into the EDC stuff. I think it's cool. I think it's fun. Um, let me know if you guys want to see more EDC stuff because uh, it's definitely something that I enjoy. Um, I kind of see Kraken as much as I like love Airsoft and stuff like that. It's like there's so much else that is around that as well. Um, I also just purchased my first uh, real steel firearm as well. Um, so if you guys want to see a video on that, definitely let me know. Um, and we can talk about that too. But uh, yeah, anyway, that's pretty much it for today, you guys. Um, we will see you in the next one. Stay awesome. Peace.